Okay, here's what I got going on today. I am going to show you what I go buy for mixing my inks to dye my wigs. I'm going to dye this wig a dark, dark blackish burgundy on top to fade into a light, lighter purple burgundy red on the bottom. This is what I use. I use the Color Mixing Bible by Ian Sideaway. And what it has inside, let me show you, it's got your pencils, it's got soft pastels, gosh, watercolors, and it even shows you like what color you start out with. If you're going to start out with lemon yellow and you mix crimson red, that's what color it's going to transition into. I mean, it shows the whole chart. In case you have any questions, this shows what colors you're going to be using and how it's going to mix with the color ink. I always recommend you test it on a test subject. This is the doll that matches up to my wig. That's the color I'm wanting to come out with. I came up with this color using the Tim Holtz red pepper. I put that on first. Then I put on the wild plum. That gave it kind of a pinkish purpley. And then at the top to get a darker color, more of a burgundy, I used the current that said darker red. It's darker than the red pepper. Red pepper, I mean, it's, it's pretty bright. And I do recommend if you're wanting to mix colors get this book or any color mixing book. I mean there's different ones out there not just this one. I've, I have several. I just like this one best. And that's pretty much what I'm going to do and I will do a video on how to dye this wig burgundy. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel if you like it. Tell me if you have any questions and I'll try to help you out. No you cannot dye dark to light. This is a kind of dark wig so I'm going to dye it darker. So it's going to be a darker burgundy red purple. But you can dye light wigs to dark just to let you know. You can't lift color but you can add color.